Howdy y'all, it's been a while, but we're ready to work on the engine. We're gonna get the sleeves in here today. So we're taking some viewer advice and we're going to fix this crack. We're gonna metal stitch it. I'm waiting for the pins to come in the mail, but while we're waiting for that, We'll put the sleeves in here today. I don't think the sleeves being in here is going to bother anything because this hole we're going to be fixing is going to be well below them and the shavings should be able to fall out underneath the block. Up here on the bench, I've got the new O-rings that are going to go on the sleeves and those are a 3S3977 and the parts book shows them as a 2A3359. So it takes eight of those. And then up at the top, there's a copper ring. Those are virtually unobtainium, so we're going to go ahead and reuse the ones that we have. So on these copper rings, I think what we should do is, is take some steel wool and scotch bright and really get them nice and clean and shiny and be sure they're as flat as we can get them. And these are the top copper gasket o-rings i guess i don't know they they i think they are available at cap but they were very cost prohibitive uh, we're going to clean these up and i've got the one off of 7j's engine right here i'm going to take all of them off of 7j's liners and we're going to take a caliper and mic them and use the thickest ones that we have And here are the other three from 7J's engine. I have a feeling already that it, those are going to be in a lot better shape than the ones off of 4G. We have another beautiful, unseasonably warm Colorado day. It's been super dry. We're definitely in a drought here. We're going to chase the, the holes in here before we do anything else. Make sure everything's cleaned up. And I did want to note that you can see right here on the block, there's a V, kind of an arrow. So that's to line up with your pistons and everything else stays in that same line. And I don't think that's going to matter for our sleeves when we put them in. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah. It looks like these are going to be a 5 8 tap. And these are coarse thread. The top of the stud is fine thread, so we'll chase all these out. We got all those chased out. We're gonna roll the block over, spray them out with brake cleaner so everything will drain out underneath. Cleaner's got everything cleaned up. We've chased all the threaded holes on this block. So I've got a used sleeve up here in the vise. And I'm going to try and hone this out and get some good cross hatching in there. We've got a whole assembly line in here today. Dad and Uncle Butch are cleaning up these copper rings with some fine steel wool for the top of the liners. And while they're doing that, I'm going to hone out these liners. I'm going to start with this ball hone. And I know that this is making a lot of you cringe right now, but I'm just going to run this through a couple of times to get the heavy, rusty kind of debris off the top before I use my good stones to get some good cross hatching in there. Of course, I'm going to put a little Marvel Mystery Oil in here, just to kind of lubricate things. Yeah, that ball hone's getting out that really gummy stuff in there. That's what we want. that one a good wipe down and then I'll use my good stones on my good hone that one got on my camera a little bit
So I don't think I'm moving fast enough to get good cross hatching. So I'm going to give this another evolution. Gonna give it one more evolution here. Now, should we tension the hone a little bit more? I think it's already. I think you got pretty good tension. Yeah, I do too. All right. I think the last ring is right there. Yeah. And we're not feeling anything in there. I think we got decent yeah. cross hatching. Yeah, you got from here to there. At least an inch. Oh yeah. Or, or let's see. That much. Yeah, that's where the last ring is, is right there. Yeah. Which there was a groove there, that's not in there anymore. It's smooth. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you think? I think I got decent cross hatching in there. I think we're good. All right, you want to do another one? All right, consensus on this one, we good? We're good. We're good. Next, Dad's cleaning up the one that I just finished over there in the parts tank. And I'm going to work on this one. The one I just finished was the worst of the bunch. Now, there's staining in there that I know is not going to get out of there. And I've already hit some of these a little bit with the ball hone quite a while back. Because when we were checking them out for pitting, so... I'll give it another evolution. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera and we'll catch up with you in a minute. I'll just clean these where these bearings fit in here. Clean them up a little bit. There's number two. There's number three. We're having a little bit of a debate. This one's got a little bit of a ridge in it. A little more than the others. And... I'm on the last one here. I'm going to hone it a little bit more. I think we're going to run it. We were just discussing that this engine's not going to turn the RPMs like a race engine or something. So I think we're okay. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Just did it again. I'm going to do it one more time. This ridge is kind of going away. I think we're okay with it the way it is, but I'll feel better about it if I give it one more evolution. One of the mistakes that people make when they hone cylinders is to stop back here. You don't want to stop. You want to bring your hone all the way out before you stop. It makes a mess. It shoots oil and everything around the shop, but that's a proper way to do it. And I found that it takes quite a bit of speed uh, to work this to get the good cross hatching in both directions. I think we're pretty happy with these results so number four is done this is the bottom of the block and here's where the o-ring seal at the bottom of those sleeves I'm gonna take my hone and just run it around in there just to clean them up just a little bit I want to be careful and stay in the middle of my stones I don't want to ruin my hone but that should clean it up enough that those o-rings will seal I think that'll work. That should certainly take off any burrs. Yeah. yeah, and that's all we're after. Okay, I'll do the rest of them off camera. Yeah, they turned out pretty good. That'll clean up any burrs that might catch up on a uh, O-ring. Should we flip the engine over and put some sleeves in? Let's try it. Before we go any further on this and put sleeves in, I'm going to clean this up with my die grinder on the surface. Make sure we don't have any weird high points before we get those sleeves in here. Dad's going to sandpaper those dowels to make sure those will slip into the head when we put it together.
we're just kind of looking for light under the level. I know this isn't the right way to do this. This isn't the scientific way to do this, but it, it, it's just one more peace of mind we can have. We've got all these copper rings cleaned up. They are all, we checked them all, they're all 30 thousandths. We had one that was 29, so we threw that out of the bunch. And these are the ones we're going to use. Uh, except for the one that Dad might have bent in half. That's over here on the windowsill. All right. <laughs> this is tire uh, bead lubricant. We've used pipe lubricant, um, grease, and our local tire distributor was kind enough to get us a little. So he's putting a little bit down in there where these two O-rings are going to seat on the bottom of the sleeve. I think this one turned out the best. We're going to put this one up front. We want the best one we got for number four because it gets the most heat. And so I'm going to put this one in the back. Put a little bit of that tire lube, pipe lube on that O-ring there. Those go in each groove right here. Flip it up. Put this in before you. Oh, yep. it. oh yeah. Good idea. I wiped it off. That's why you're here because you're smarter <laughs> than both of us put together. I don't know about that. Hopefully these are the right size. They look kind of small. But given that you're having some issues getting it on there, it makes me think they're right. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. Here's the other one. All right. You want to do the honors putting the first sleeve in, Dad? Well, let's see. See if it is honors or if it's going to be... We might have to make a tool to press it in. Yeah. I wonder if we should have put the copper ring in there. No, because you're not going to slip those O-rings past it. <clears throat> All right, there is where... The O-rings sit? The O-rings sit. Yeah, the O-rings are just barely touching that. Can we push on this engine stand, you think? On that back one? Yeah, we might have to think about it before we push on the front. Well, I think we need to block that front up with some wood. Yeah. It's going. Is it really? Yep, there you go. Can you add a little pressure there? And... There it goes. So we put a block up there and block that up so we can, you yes. know what I mean? Yeah, because we got to put a lot of pressure on this and... That back one's well supported. Yeah, I think our stand would hold it, but why Why take the chance? We don't want to patch any more cracks in this block. Just put some blocks under here. Actually, a 4x4 and a 6x6 is perfect. We've got them on each side. So that'll hold this and we can press on this as much as we need to. Yeah, what I did is just give it a little turn, yeah, like that. Number one, My. be sure, yeah, that you don't pinch the copper ring. I guess I should have had seconds at lunch. Here, have, oh, it started to go. Did it? Butch, help him out there. It. Just needed that couple Little other extra. Yep. Just don't don't let it drop on it. We're test fitting these sleeves. I don't know that this is totally necessary. I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. It looks the same. Yeah. I don't think anything's going to change. Here too. On yeah. If anything, this might be a little higher here. I don't. They're all about the same, Dad. There you go. Yeah, it's hitting. Now see if it does it there and over there. You know, just check it. Yeah. Just it, barely. Yeah. I can feel it over here. And and over here, it's okay too. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's hitting. Yeah, we're up. 
a little bit from the face of that block. That and that one's a little. It's a little lower right there. Not much. Not much. No. You think just put it right there? I do. Where it's at? Yeah. Well then, take a felt, your felt, and just put a mark right there, and we'll put it in the way it is here. Just put a little dot right there by the V. You can just put it in that way. We'll do that. Probably good we're doing this on a warm day too for them rubbers. I, I think you're right. For the O-rings. Nice. There it goes. One more. We're going to go ahead and test fit number one. And we've been doing that with all of these, but it's been off camera. It's good. Yeah, I think you're... We're fine. Dad just pointed it out, and we got a big problem. This is number six, and we don't have six cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is that they use these same sleeves in some six-cylinder engines and road graders and other machines. So this is a used one that we got from Antique Crawler Parts. My biggest fear is dropping one of these on the floor. Ding, 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 ding. But, Snap it in half. <clears throat> there we go. Bada boom, bada bing. Got it. Well, this has been a good day. As always, everything goes a little tedious, and I have a rooster outside that has a lot to say. But we got all the sleeves in, and we had help from Uncle Butch, and of course the cleaners out here. So I do want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. My knee's cracking. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> My uncle's out here. We got the giggles this morning, so this is this is not going very well. We're not off to a good start. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop laughing.